Hey guys, it's Peter Fry, pastor of Union Congregational Church, and this week at church our sermon recording didn't work to put it up here on this channel, so I wanted to create a video to recap the sermon, and one of the things we talked about was bodies are complex things. I mean, if you just think about it, our, our bodies are made up of cells that make up organs that work together to keep us alive. We've got the heart pumping, the lungs breathing, uh, organs filtering, blood circulating, nerves uh, stimulating. It's a complex and complicated thing. You have so many parts of the body, but they come together to give life. And the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians uses this picture of the body to describe the church. We're continuing a series here at Union Congregational Church called Why Church? Rediscovering God's vision for his people. And I believe that the church is crucially important for our spiritual lives. It grieves me that, that there are many who have left the church, but say, I, you know what, I, I, I still love Jesus, but I'm not quite so sure about the church. Well, as the Apostle Paul uses the imagery of the body in 1 Corinthians 12, it, it, he wants us to realize that we are not made to do the Christian life alone. We need each other. We, we weren't made to be uh, solo Christians walking in this spiritual life with Jesus on our own. We need the church. We need each other. It's quite simply, because that's the way God designed it. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the Apostle Paul describes the body of Christ as being one body made up of many parts. And he describes how each part of a body has a unique and significant role. And we can't ignore that when we talk about the church because every member of the church, every believer in Jesus has a significant role in the body of Christ, that is the church. And, and so uh, the point of 1 Corinthians 12, uh, we looked at verses 12 through 27, if you wanna read that this week, it, it, it describes how one part of the body can't say, you know what, because I'm not the hand, I don't belong to the body. Or if, or if one part of the body said, you know what, I don't need you. You know what, you know, feet, you aren't quite that important. In fact, you're kind of smelly and I don't need you. The body would be lacking in, in how it's designed to function. You see, we need each part of the body. And that's exactly what it says here in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18. It says, but in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. You know, we each have unique gifts, unique passions, unique things about us, about our personality and how we relate to each other and how we relate to the world and how we think. We are all unique and different. And there is diversity among the body of Christ, among the church. And and we can't view the church as a factory that, that produces uniform Christians. This is what the Christian looks like. Sure, there are qualities that the Spirit of God brings about in us to, to make us Christ-like, but in that journey, each of us have unique gifts and have a unique part in the body of Christ. You see, God designed the church to depend upon diversity. We need each other. 
simply because that's the way God designed it. So here in the church, we don't come together as people simply with common interests or, or things that are similar about us. We come together as people who have differences about us. Sure, we come together with the single cause of, of to know Jesus and to make him known. But as we do that, God's design for the church is dependence upon diversity. Let me say that again. Dependence upon diversity is God's design for the church. And that's simply the point of, of Paul's passage here in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I think that the Spirit of God wants us as the church to come together to value your unique role in the church. And that's my hope for you, and that's our hope here at Union Congregational Church, is that each member of the body can use their unique gifts, their unique passions, to serve not only each other, but the people around us. So that it be, can be clear at the end of the day that God's design for the church is dependence upon diversity. And as we live this out, I'm convinced that the world will see Jesus in our unity. Because as we looked at last week in John 17, when knowing Jesus is what unifies God's people, the unity of God's people will make Jesus known. And that's God's design for the body. And so simply, God's message for you today is, we need you. We need each other. Not because you're a great person or you are an exceptional uh, human being. No, quite simply the opposite. Because God's design is to use broken individuals and to bring them together with unique gifts, unique quirks, unique personalities, and for us to come together and to depend upon diversity because that will bring unity that makes Jesus known.